What's going on everyone and welcome to another episode of Pass the Joystick. In this one we are doing a Let's Talk Gaming topic today, Raging. Because Raging has been a part of the gaming community for a long time and I mean, out of us, we have so many people that we play with and I, f I felt the need that this episode should have been so fitting for Raging because we have with us Pito. His real name is Jose, we call him Pito, family. And you can know you know him in a few of my gaming episodes that I've done, a few of my gaming videos, and even Nick has done a few gaming videos with him as Nap Torpito. So you've seen him in a few of the videos and everything. So welcome Pito. Thank you, thank you. So Pito, welcome to the episode. Now we start everything with what have we been playing, but we'll ask you before we do that with what is your favorite video game of all time? Because as you know. We do video games, video games is our life, so we usually have our video games like Resident Evil, God of War. So what is your favorite video game of all time or what is that one game that has, you know, put you there, put you into gaming? It would have to be the Call of Duty franchise. Not the entirety of it, but just mostly that one game, I think it would have to be Black Ops 2. It Black was... I mean, who doesn't like Black Ops, you know? Black Ops 2 in specific. Black Ops it, 2 is really good. It's yeah. probably the best Call of Duty game of all time. I like it. I mean, I wouldn't say best, but if you like it, hey, <laughs> that's, that's, your, that's your favorite one. But a Call of Duty, I mean, what what about Call of Duty really draw you in? What, what really got you? I don't know, just the gameplay in general. All the different things you can do. Mm -hmm. The multiplayer, which was Amazing. probably the most I spent on it. Yeah. You know, the campaign was great. Mm -hmm. Zombies, I had never like really played a game that had that type of thing. Yeah. Those other zombie games. That is true. Yeah, no, no. It, it was very unique to, yeah. to Call of Duty. Yeah. It was definitely very unique. What do you think of Call of Duty? I mean, we've spoken about Call of yeah. Duty as a whole franchise before, but like older Call of Duties. What do you what do you think of that? I, I put a lot of time into Modern Warfare 1, yeah. Modern Warfare 2. Uh, well, sometimes Black Ops 1 and then Black Ops 2 mostly. Mm -hmm. I, and I try to dip into like every other game after that, but... Yeah. I think the only game I really got into again was the most recent Modern Warfare. Mm -hmm. And I played that for probably like a day and a half worth of time and then I just kinda like That was it. I fell off afterwards. Yeah. yeah. It didn't last that long for me, but Yeah, it, I mean it's good. It, it was, looks gorgeous. Like Yeah, no, I mean all the new beautiful. all the new Call of Duty is look incredible. I mean the older ones for the time that they came out yeah. was amazing too. So They're a whole I, different game now too. Like Cold War too. Yeah. Like Cold War recently? I'm not really a fan. I, mean, <laughs> I think it looks good, but the gameplay is a little odd. Yeah. So that, that's that's my opinion. I feel like it's like very, it's very different from Modern Warfare, and Modern Warfare is my preferred experience. Yeah. So. I mean, I, and and talking about Call of Duty with this type of a uh, topic that we have today, I, I feel like it's so fitting because raging in gaming. I feel Call of Duty it's one of the the biggest franchise where you can have like the biggest ragers out there. It's like the pinnacle of anger. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's actually one of the best ways to put it, yeah. definitely. But raging in, in gaming, it, it's it's uh, a crazy topic because, I mean, you have people that rage to break things. Like, they break things, remotes, accessories, home stuff. Like, yeah, like, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, raging can get really bad. Personally, I shouldn't be even be in this episode because I don't really rage. I, I actually just, you know, I play as it is and that's what it is. But Nick might seem quiet, but he, he does a little bit of raging in um, gaming. Yeah, I get I get a little angry and what ends up happening is I'll either be somewhat vocal or I'll just kind of sit there and I'll just wallow in it. I'll be like, I, I guess it's it is. It's the, 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 what they call the internal screaming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like you, the silence comes in and you know Nick is inside like dying. It's like, a, <laughs> it's like a high squeal like a frog squeal. Yeah. Have you ever seen those videos? <laughs> it's exactly like you're sitting there like, like, damn yeah. bro. Yeah. It's, but it's usually when you can't control something though. Right? <sighs> Pino, tell us about raging in gaming because you know, if, if you've ever played with us and, and Pito's been there, if you currently uh, have been playing with Pito, then you know what we're talking about because Pito is probably the biggest rager in our team. So like for, for all of our friends that we play together and everything, yeah, Pito definitely takes the cake. Um, he is the one that he tries to hold it in as much as he can, but he loses once or twice or it doesn't go his way, he quits the whole game. So. Tell us, <laughs> how do you, how do you, you know, how, how does the raging overtake you in gaming? It's, I'm fine with it, in the most part, I try to brush it off, you know, a lot of it's, it's fine, you know, 
It's part of the game. You right. lose. But when something that I know could have been prevented <laughs> happens, that's yeah. the worst. That's when it starts building up. All right. And I'm like, oh man, <laughs> I should have won that. And, 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 and it's true. I mean, those are the biggest things because when you're looking at something, and this is the reason why I personally don't rage because, you know, I, I look at it as, you know, if, if it happened, it happened. Like, we can't do anything afterwards. <laughs> but I, I get it. I get it. A lot of people see it like, hey, we should have done this, we should have done that. Hey, you live and you learn, you learn from that mistake, and you don't do it again. That's how I see it. Yeah. But stuff happens, and, and raging happens. Nick, tell us. What, uh, how, how do you see raging out there? Bad. <laughs> um, I feel like it's mostly, I, I guess, obviously, depending on the person and the game. Yeah. Me, I think the only games I actually get like someone raging in is like Smite and then like uh, mm -hmm. like PvP games I play on my phone because it's mostly like there's some stuff that you just like, like you just said it yourself like there's just no control over and that like if, if there's like an RNG mechanic that takes something out of your hands and like yeah. a, if a PvP game I can't stand it mm -hmm. it's just terrible it's like what's the point of doing like playing online against somebody but I have to deal with this random wrench that's going to be thrown at any point in the game and then you're just kind of screwed from that point that is true yeah so, it's the, it's the little things always like like that like those little instances or those little moments that really overtake you in in the gaming yeah once you're like in the zone and everything is going well up to a certain point and everything just goes downhill from there mm -hmm. like that's like one of the biggest things you mentioned call of duty as your favorite game like tell us one of the biggest things that you can remember or or just something that that just you cannot stand in call of duty well, what's one of those things that you can just think about and you're like, you know what, I just can't deal with it. It's actually a thing called COD logic, mm -hmm. where you can be aiming at a spot for like five minutes straight, but then the moment you go to turn, the dude pops up <laughs> and kills you, yeah. like you can wait there you can for be... an infinite amount of time. <laughs> and then the moment you move, that's and... when decide to push mm -hmm. you. It's, oh, bro. One of my favorite that's things so that, nice. like, that... <laughs> that Pinto says, and we play a lot of uh, Overwatch. One of my favorite things that that one of my favorite phrases of Pito is they're focusing him. <laughs> and that's one of the biggest things for me because Pito always thinks that they're focusing him when you know the the team overall is focusing everybody. But at that one instance, Pito think that the whole opponent team is yeah. like on him. There's eight people <laughs> with the lobby, six players. That's how well, I feel. If you like. see it from my point of view, you have like five of the six team members looking at me and shooting me. Yeah. So they are. It's, yeah. like, it's, like, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, no, I, of course. And I guess those are the things that bring us back to like, you know, that shouldn't have happened or damn, like that's what makes me rage or yeah. something like that, you know? But it just gets it just gets ridiculous. Now, what do you guys think? Like, what what makes you guys rage out there? Like, what is that one game that you just can't play because it just makes you rage? You guys know uh, Alessi that that's with us all the time and has done a few videos with us. He cannot play Call of Duty because of the same reason. Call of Duty is the game that just gets a new form of him that I that I just don't see often or even at all. It's one of those that Call of Duty just brings that out of him and he, he cannot play it. He just can't. He can't jump in there. And I guess that brings back to the topic yeah. of, you know, Call of Duty being that type of game. It's just because there's so many situations you can find yourself in that you could, like, cover every single point of view. Like, you could definitely just do, like, the Rainbow Six logic and you could just, like, mm -hmm. da -da 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 right. and you could peek every single Everything. corner. But then there's that one corner from that you don't even the know. other <laughs> side of the map, <laughs> Don't even think about it. And homie's just there just... Yeah, wait and waiting. stand pretty and then all of a sudden you cover it and you're like I'm good bah! Mm -hmm. and then you spawn on the other side of the map and you have to do that all over again <laughs> and that happens so often exactly that it's just exhausting man yeah I know I mean I will say though like for me I, I do I do a lot of fighting games like fighting games is like my, my top thing and I play that competitively and I usually don't rage because if I make a mistake and they beat me hey they beat me and I, I notice what mistake I made and I don't do it again but there are certain moments that I get mad at myself because there are certain moments that the opponent team or the opponent itself didn't have the fault. It was me. Now, I know you guys also come across those moments and you know that you made the mistake and you know that you're getting upset at yourself because of it. How do you guys cope with that? <laughs> well, that's 80% of the time for me. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it's tough. That's yeah, it's, it, it's one of those, man. Like, what, what is that, that thing that you do? That really gets you. Like you know, you made the mistakes. So you're like, damn. What is? What is it? 
let's, for example, like Apex, we're playing together, and it should be an easy rotation. Yeah. But I decide to, to push mm -hmm. and stick to the fight as if I... <laughs> If you need can take to stay it. there. You're gonna take the one v three. Yeah, yeah. And then I go down and we lose. <laughs> because so the reason why we lose it's because we we have a philosophy and it's in especially in battle royale says yeah. no man left behind. So if one of us is fighting or if one of us goes down, we have to rescue you or we have to help you. So yeah, that's the reason. Like if you shouldn't be in a fight and you you go down or you or you die, then we are there trying to either rescue you or win the fight. So that's one of the mentalities that we usually have in battle royales, because there's no man left behind. I mean, obviously you can survive by yourself, especially depending on the character that you have. But most of the time, we're trying to, to help out each other, yeah. and that's one of the, the the biggest things. What about you, Nick? Like when whenever you make a mistake in gaming, and, and you know it was something dumb, and you you know you know you could could have turned everything around. How do you cope with that? How, how do you feel about it afterwards? Um, I either sit there and I kind of like. <laughs> like, like, like I wouldn't say why do I do that, but it's mostly like I'm either upset at the fact that that happened, mm -hmm. or I had a better plan and I didn't do it because I usually think of a better plan yeah. and I don't have the I don't mentally prepare or have mm -hmm. the time. So I'm like I'll be like, oh, I, I'm gonna just do this, and then I'm like, hey, I'm gonna go this route or whatever like that, and then I'm like, oh, that's not a terrible idea because they're coming that way, so let me do something else, right. and then I end up doing the worst plan every single time, and that always gets me. Um, and that, then that either gets me down, or even if it's, if it's Battle Royale or if it's Smite or whatever like that, where I'm like, well, I should have like my moves in a certain order, mm -hmm. and then the person ends up like running away. And that just, when they get away with like this <laughs> with much no health, health, oh, oh my that, god. That takes me to the point where I'm like, I'm going to go in that tower and I'm going <laughs> to punch you, <bro."> Yes, <laughs> literally. Like, you know you, you, you can't die from it, but yeah. you just want the kill. It's like yeah. seeing red. We, we have a term for that, it's seeing red. Yeah. We always see red when we see somebody that is like literally almost dead. They're one shot, as you know, and we, we always try to finish it and then we end up dying. So yeah. like that is like the worst feeling. And we know the mistakes. We know we made so many of them and it's our fault, but in reality, we try we try our best yeah. that, to, to not make those mistakes and we learn from them. But it happens. You know, it, it what can you do? It trial and error. It. Exactly, it's trial and error, exactly. But Seeing those things like seeing red and then making those small mistakes is really what gets you in the in the raging moment. So like it gets you your blood boiling and, and we, we know we know those moments. Now angry. let's talk about outside distractions on like something happening in the real world while you're gaming Ooh. and that really gets you because you're like almost at a point to win or almost at a point to get into certain kills and everything that will turn everything around. What outside distractions really gets you going or like something that really frustrates you? For me, it's when somebody starts walking in front of the TV oh, while I'm playing. God, oh my God, Oh my God. That or they go out of their way to like, be like, hey. Like, oh, trying to go out of way for that. I'm trying like, to get your attention like, from you, it. You, you see something, just give me, give me, give me, <laughs> give me a, a minute. minute. <laughs> <laughs> but that one minute turns into 30 seconds and you're dead. And yeah, then you're just man. like, I just, Something kind of so, game that got yeah, blown. Yeah. Something so simple, something so small. Outside distractions are probably the worst. That's something that I've learned because in going to tournaments for fighting games and everything, there's always gonna be outside distractions. There's gonna be people around you, there's gonna be crowds and everything screaming and whatnot. But that's the one thing that at least they don't do is they don't get in the way when you're fighting or anything like that. So that is one thing that I've learned to control. It's like blocking out all the outside distractions. Mm -hmm. I will say though, in a home setting is different because in a home setting, if you have somebody there, it's usually you know a family member, a loved one, a friend, or something. So yeah. it's somebody that you at least know. And if they get in your way, that's that's what's worse. <laughs> that is what really gets you. Blood really. boiling, bro. Man, I, I really can't. With I'm usually not like a person to get really angry about that, but there's sometimes where like it's just in the situation. I'm just like, mm -hmm. you could you could have literally went behind me, uh, literally, or exactly. you could have waited. Two minutes. Not, <laughs> something time, so simple. Not like I'll even I'll even go hide or something, and then we can talk for like a quick second. Or exactly. Something. Or just let me walk in front of the TV and you go behind me. Like, there you there's go. So many options, but this <laughs> just like I'm just gonna kneel. Uh, yeah, it's something so simple, but you decide to take the worst possible way. Yeah. But hey, that's that's what we gamers deal with. <laughs> we we deal with so much out there to actually you know what really gets us raging and what really gets us like our blood boiling and everything as we say. But what can we do? We, we, we try to conquer whatever we can Contain. with it, right? <laughs> we try to, but when we, when we talk about like raging and whatnot, there's so many different uh, motives that gets us raging. 
Peter, for example, <laughs> gets gets upset at a, a lot of moments when something so simple is, especially like, for example, let's say we're playing, I don't know, Overwatch, for example. And there's this one character that Pito just hates. Oh. And that that character is always on Pito. Like that that's one of those things that he cannot deal with. Yeah. Tell us about like those characters that you just cannot deal with. Well of watch, there's three characters that I hate. <laughs> and I've been saying it for years and yeah, I feel like they should them. be removed. I know that's Farah, Genji, and Tracer. And my favorite character of the game. They Tracer. are just the most <laughs> annoying characters in the game to go against. Mm -hmm. And they do toxic. nothing about them, ever. Mm -hmm. I agree. I mean, like, certain characters really can get us derailed from what we're playing and you cannot, like, deal with. Like, for me, in, in Overwatch, I really don't hate too many characters. I probably hate, like, maybe one or two, but they've gotten reworked, so I've been okay. Uh, when you talk about Apex Legends, which is one of our most played games, Apex Legends, I cannot deal with a, a lot of characters, especially like raids. I cannot stand going They're against so certain annoying. raids. It's so annoying going against raids. I, I really can't deal with that. But, I mean, what, what characters you, don't you like in certain games? Like, for, especially like Smite. You have so many hours uh -huh. in Smite. And there's like over a hundred gods. What's that one or two gods that you cannot stand going against? Um. Off the bat and smite, they're both healers. Uh, uh, Chaga, oh, of course, and Afro. I can't, <laughs> I can't stand. Uh, well, how does it feel I, to have an Afro character. in the team now? So, <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty good. So whenever I'm playing with like an Afro or something like that, it's, it's fantastic because exactly. it's, it's like, okay, yeah, you're keeping me alive. Let mm -hmm. me do my thing. But then like when you're going when against you're going it, against it, yeah. it's just it sucks because like they can they can like tailor their like their build a certain way mm -hmm. so that. Every single fight just goes in their favor, and right. it just sucks because it's like, what's the point? And like, the healing, you yeah. have to kill her, <laughs> and there's two other people or three other people in her way, yeah. and then you're just like, well, yeah. I mean, you can't really do much with it, like yeah. especially when when they're doing so much healing to that other character, and you're trying to kill her, but then other characters are on her, protecting her. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. It's just annoying. I mean, yeah. th thankfully that's changed over the years because yeah. they've done so many reworks and stuff like mm -hmm. that that a lot of characters they're no longer the same. Yeah. Um, but I feel like those will always be annoying. And then Chang'e has like an ability that makes her like damage immune. Yeah. And I just, I can't handle it because of the fact that it's like, it's always there. Mm. Like every time I'm in a game with, uh, it's always at the right time. It's always and when it's they're gonna when, get when away. When they're gonna die, man. When it's, the moment they're gonna die, it's when they it It's like they save, I mean, that's the point <laughs> of it. They, they save it for that little sliver. Yeah. And then they get away and then you're just like. Mm -hmm. And then they're with the whole team, so like, What's the point? Yeah. She just sits there and goes, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's so And all of a sudden, you're, mm -hmm. you're back to score one. I mean, Pito, you, you've obviously now into Smite, and there are certain gods that you don't like either. What what god can you think of like that you just don't lo like going against? Baron Samedi, Aqua, yeah. Chalk. Oh. Chalk, yeah. Uh, lately, Kakulin. Oh. <laughs> There are certain gods you're getting, that you're, just, getting, you're getting to that point of the it's game. All, it's, it's, all those, it's all those big boys that yeah. don't die. It's all that the big boys that just don't die. Warriors aren't killable right now. They have like yeah. the most cheese moves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, you know, when it comes to like certain characters in certain games, man, like I just cannot deal with some of them to just play against because I know I'm going to have a bad time. I know I, I just, I, I want to get that match done and over with because it's just going to go in their favor. We try our best, obviously. We try to, to beat them the best way. And sometimes yeah. it does go our favor. So most of the time it doesn't, but <laughs> it happens. So it is what it is. But tell us what you guys think on certain characters. Or what games do you guys not like because you rage so much? Or what characters you don't like going against in certain games that you do play because you rage so much? So let us know what you guys think. Um, but that's pretty much it for uh, the raging episode. <laughs> Thank you, Peter, for coming. Uh, you will obviously see more of him in certain videos that we make. We're uh, opening so much more. We're coming out with so much content now. And we have so many different things coming out in the in the next few weeks. Uh, keep in touch with our social media because we'll be posting a lot about it. We have uh, our anniversary coming in a few weeks. Keep that in touch. We are hitting a year of the channel. And we have a lot of other videos coming in. So keep in taps with that. Yes. But, yeah. Excited, it's good. And then uh, E3, the best time of the year, E3, bro. E3, man, that, that is coming. Uh, after Christmas we didn't have it last year. So I, I am yeah. excited for that. I'm very excited. So. We have a we have a little bit of E3 that, to talk about, and we have a lot of uh, things uh, prepared for E3. So keep that in, in, in mind, too. 
that's going to be good. But that's another one of the books. So once again, uh, if y'all have any questions, if y'all want to talk about anything in general, if you guys want to see us talk about anything or play anything, feel free to let us know in the comments below or on Instagram or any of the pages that we may have. Uh, until then, take care. Pastor Joyce, take guys. See you later, guys.